Greetings, yogis. Welcome to your 30 minute yin class. Just want to show you that we have a bunch of props here that you can use. You can use a block if you have. If you don't have a block, you can use a book. For a strap, we have a canvas belt as well as a leather belt or a tie. We have some pillows. We have some towels and blankets. You can watch our video on props to see what you might have at home to be able to use during your yin practice. Our yin practice encourages mindfulness, soothes your nervous system, deeply relaxes the body, deepens your self-awareness and introspection, and allows you to feel safe and nurtured. We'll begin My name is Spencer. This is Amelia. She'll be our model. Let's begin in child's pose. So in child's pose, arms can be out long hips coming toward the heels. We'll be holding every posture for somewhere between 10 and 15 breaths. Just settle in, calming the nervous system. You can always fill up the spaces your props. Use your props in this practice. That's what this practice is for. Fill the spaces. It's designed to lengthen the connective tissue, the ligaments, cartilage, the joint capsules. This will help to increase flexibility, elasticity, lengthening that connective tissue. Five final breaths. Final breath. puppy pose now. I'm going to take this out. So in puppy pose, the arms come out long. The hips come up tall. So the hips are directly over the knees. The chest is making its way to the floor. The forehead is on the floor. As you increase your range of motion, you may even get the nose on the floor or the chin on the floor. Again, I'm going to fill up this space here. Press down. See the increase in the curve in the low back. So if we wanted to fill this space up a little bit more, do we have something else that could go with it? Mm -hmm. ah, better. better? So every body is different, obviously. Your anatomy is different. So have lots of blocks, have lots of bolsters, have lots of blankets and pillows around. Fill up all the space to make you comfortable. This should be a comfortable process. You see the arms are out long, shoulders are opening. Puppy pose. Is there a modification? Is there a modification if, if having your arms out isn't comfortable? Like can you go to you the bring side? your arms in, yep, whatever you need to modify, however you need to modify to find your comfort. There is no one right way to do things. Everybody, as I said, their anatomy is different. Injuries that have occurred, the aging process. 
So everybody's a little bit different. What we're giving here is just general basic instruction. Five final breaths. Extending your inhales, extending your exhales, engaging your parasympathetic nervous system. That is the portion of the nervous system responsible for calmness and equanimity. Final two breaths. make our way to our bellies. We'll bring the palms directly under the shoulders. Legs are extended long. Top of the feet on the mat. Elbows in tight. We're going to make our way into Cobra. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Press down into the palms. Gently begin to lift the heart. Doesn't matter how high you come up. This is a back bend. <laughs> so again, it doesn't matter how high you come up. Ten final breaths. If you can't hold it for that many breaths, just come back down onto your chin. It's okay. Five final breaths. And release. Cleansing breath. our way into Sphinx Pose. Again, the legs are together. Forearms on the mat. Forearms parallel to one another. So try not to let the elbows come out or the arms come out. Parallel to one another. Middle finger facing forward. Inhale. Exhale and lift for 15 breaths. Again, this is a back bend. Legs locked together, thighs together, calves together, feet together. Opening the heart opening the chest, opening the throat chakra as your gaze is slightly upward. Maybe the shoulder blades coming together ever so slightly. Five final breaths. seated you can face the camera and we'll move into Baddha Kadasana butterfly pose 
So in butterfly pose, the soles of the feet are together. You're pressing the, you're pressing the soles of the feet into one another. Most of the time, people are gonna have some distance between the knee and the floor. So let's fill that up. We'll shove a blanket under one side. We'll shove a towel and a pillow under the other. But whatever you have in your home, if you have blocks, you can do that. Pressing down into the knees, you're opening up the inner thigh muscles, the adductor muscles. For 15 breaths. final breaths. If you are comfortable here and you would like to forward fold ever so slightly, feel free to do so. No requirement. Pressing down on the knees, opening the thighs, lengthening the connective tissue in the inner thighs, the tendons that connect the muscle to the bone and the ligaments that connect the bone to the bone capsule that surrounds every joint, the cartilaginous capsule, lengthening, stretching. Five final breaths. Sucking the belly button into the spine will give you that much more room to fold should you choose to do so. Engaging your core muscles, your bandhas, your locks. Final two breaths. way to our backs. You can, you can stay this way. We move into wind removing pose. Hip flexors. We'll bend the right knee. Grabbing the right knee, clasping the fingertips two inches below that knee. Inhale. Exhale. Take the knee out to the side ever so slightly. And then on your inhale, bring it back to the center and pull that knee towards the shoulder. So the ankle, the knee, and the shoulder are in one line. Left shoulder pressing down, right knee into the right shoulder for 15 breaths. Left leg is, ex is um, extended, maybe flexing the toes back. When you flex the toes, you're engaging the back calf muscles and to some extent the hamstring, as well as the bottom of the foot. Sorry if that tickled. <laughs> On the right side, that hip is pinching. You're engaging your quadriceps and your psoas muscle. Those are the major muscles of hip flexion. For five final breaths. If you can't get your knee, this is a good time, we'll maybe do this on the other side. Final breath. And release. Left knee comes up. So if you can't get your knee, grab a strap, Grab a belt, and instead of your hands going there, you can pull using your, your belt or your strap. Pull the knee out to the side ever so slightly, 
and then back to the left shoulder. Right foot flexes for 15 breaths. Again, the ankle, the knee, and the shoulder are in one line. A lot of people have a tendency that ankle comes to the midline. We want to take that ankle out so that the foot, the knee, and the shoulder are in one line. Ten final breaths. out long. Now we'll bring both knees together. Again, you can grab around the knees with your arms, grabbing your elbows, your forearms, or your wrists, or you can use your strap or your belt to pull it in. Knees come to the chest, engaging the core muscles, sucking the belly button in, maybe flexing the feet back. Shoulders relaxed onto the floor, chin slightly tucked. Ten final breaths. up the wall. So the best way to do this to get your butt as close to the wall is just as Amelia is doing. She's turning sideways, bringing her hips against the wall. Then she's going to rotate her hips, bring her legs up the wall, in this case up the bookcase, and bringing the hips and butt as close to the wall as possible. If you don't have a wall, you can move into waterfall. And then waterfall, you'll take a block or a blanket, lift the hips up, bring the hips under the sacrum, and it's the same thing. Soles of the feet facing the ceiling, legs are straight for 15 breaths. If you want to flex the toes back to the nose, you can. If you want to point the toes, if you want to play back and forth, feel free to do so. Basically, we're doing an inversion here. So an inversion, we're going to get the flow of blood and lymphatic fluid traveling from the lower body to the upper body, as opposed to how we normally would do it, from the upper body to the lower body. Ten, ten final breaths.
five final breaths. floor. Legs come out long. Grab the strap. We'll take the left leg out to 45 degrees. We'll bring the right leg in so the sole of the foot is on the inner thigh. Now, if your right knee does not make it to the floor, put a pillow under it, put a block, grab your strap, inhale, Exhale, take a slight twist so that your heart is over your femur. Ball of the foot. Inhale. Exhale and fold. 15 breaths. You should feel a stretch in your hamstring. You should feel a stretch in your calf. You should feel a stretch in your inner thigh muscle on the opposite side. Ten final breaths. Five breaths. Final breath. And release. Make your way up. We'll switch the legs out. Right leg comes out long. Sole of the left foot to the inner right thigh. Again, if you have a space here, you can fill that. I don't have a space anymore. I used to, so I'm just going to have that knee down. But some people are up here. Fill that space as much as you can. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Strap to the ball of the foot. And forward fold. You want your spine to be lined up directly over the femur if possible. And then pull those, the toes towards the nose. You'll feel a contraction of the calf muscles, the hamstring muscles. Ten final breaths. Rounding the spine down, taking your spine into full spinal flexion. Maybe the chin rolls to the chest. Five final breaths. Final breath. And release. Let's take both legs out long. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and fold for 15 breaths. Toes of both feet flex back towards the heart. 
Final five breaths. <laughs> Final breath. And release. We'll make our way onto our backs, head here. Supta Baddha Kadasana. So the knees come out wide, the soles of the feet come together. You can fill the space under the knees if you have a lot of space. And we're gonna bring our arms in the cactus arms. So the arms come up, the elbows are bent 90 degrees. Your arms are like this with your shoulders on the mat. So you're opening the thighs, you're opening the shoulders, you're opening the heart. Pressing the soles of the feet into one another, pressing the knees towards the floor, pressing the elbows and shoulders and wrists towards the floor for 10 final breaths. Five remaining breaths. Final breath. And then begin to extend the legs out long. Arms come to the side, palms facing up, or if you'd like, you can put your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your heart. Final Shavasana, corpse pose, final resting pose.
Beginning to allow consciousness and awareness to return to your bodies. I'd like to wiggle your toes and fingers, maybe shaking your head. If you would like to extend your arms above your head, clasping your hands together, taking a final stretch. And then making your way onto your right side in fetal position. And then making your way to seated posture. Hands to heart center. We thank you for joining us for our 30 minute yin practice today. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next time.